Welcome to Labmins.com in the lab video series on Cisco Firepower 7.0 VPN. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of Firepower videos, you can visit our website in the security section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Now that we are done with the site-to-site -site VPN, we are going to move on to remote access VPN, starting this video with installation and basic configuration of any Connect VPN client. So by the end of this lab, you can expect a functioning and a Connect VPN setup. So here is the setup for our lab. We've got the Cisco FMC server right, with the IP address 172.16.32.107 sitting on the server VLAN, VLAN 32. Next to that is our Windows 2019 domain controller, DNS server, the IP of .40. The server VLAN is being hosted on our lab core switch, switch 1. For that switch to get out to the internet, it has to go through a firewall and the five power device HQ firewall one registered to the FMC pretty much fully configured and this is the firewall that we're going to be using to configure our AnyConnect VPN. On the outside we can get out to the actual internet through our SP gateway router. We also are going to be using this outside segment for VPN testing right from the outside to the inside. On that segment we have our Windows 10 test machine, Win 10 test one. And with the IP of 192.168.10.11 that we will use to install the AnyConnect client on. So that's going to be for the wired connectivity test. And we're going to create some local user called local EMP, right, our local employee user. At least in this lab, right, the user is going to be on the firewall. To test from the wireless perspective, we also have an iPad connected to that same segment. Right, we're going to use the AnyConnect client app on the iPad to make the connection to our corporate network as well. All right, so if you are already familiar with AnyConnect VPN on the Cisco ASA, or AnyConnect has been around for many years, you are pretty much then halfway there since you already understand the concept of AnyConnect and also have a knowledge of the CLI. You just need to figure out how to do the same configuration on the FMC GUI. The other thing to keep in mind is the feature limitations on the Firepower, as some of the features might not be available when compared to the ASA. The biggest one I would say probably is the clientless VPN. It just happened to be the feature you have been using in the ASA, as there is no support whatsoever right, with the clientless VPN on the Firepower. And the web portal that you normally used to get to all of the clientless VPN features is now strictly used for any kind of client download, as you will see in a little bit in this lab. Which means that all of the VPN features and setup must be implemented through Cisco AnyConnect Secure Mobility Client. But even that, the AnyConnect themselves do not quite have the feature parity as the ASA but the gap is certainly closing as Cisco comes out with newer software releases. So if you are migrating from a Cisco ASA, make sure to double check that the features that you need are actually supported on the Firepower. Now let's go through the configuration all right, to set up a brand new AnyConnect VPN. Let me bring up the web interface to the FMC. Unlike the site-to-site -site VPN, AnyConnect requires license subscription. And this could be, let me show you that, and you may have seen it under the Smart Licenses page. Your options are AnyConnect Apex Plus or VPN only. And you can refer to the Cisco ordering guide for AnyConnect to figure out the different features supported by each type of license. And once you get the license, make sure that they are added to your smart account because the FMC will be pulling down the licenses right the same way that they did for the malware threat and URL filtering. Once you have the licenses taken care of, right, then you need to make sure that your five power device has those respective license enabled. 